Hey there guys. Um, I'm sure you are surprised to see my actual face as I am to actually be showing it to you. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say, um, I, I only want to do this in one take, so there's going to be a lot of hums and haws and everything else. So, um, I, um, was reluctant to sh do the video that I'm going to be doing, um, because this is um, something that I came up with. I haven't seen anything like it out there. So it's very new, um, but I do want to share it with you. Um, so I, I kind of went through if I wanted to maybe um, charge um, charge for the, for the tutorial. Um, I went on Etsy and I kind of learned how I could do that. I could charge for some tutorials and stuff, but I've never charged for any tutorials before. So I'm just reluctant to do that also. Um, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Um, you know, you can hit that the thanks button down there. Um, I think the least amount that you can give on the thanks button is $2. And I think that that's pretty fair to learn um, something new that will be making you money potentially, um, or if you're going to be, you know, using it for gifts or anything like that. I, I really don't think that two dollars is too much to ask. Um, so with that being said, I am not going to charge for this particular tutorial. Um, but I would like, <laughs> um, if you would consider, please, um, hit in the thanks button and maybe leave in a couple dollars. So, like I said, with that being said, here's the tutorial. Hope you like it. Bye. I love you guys. Okay, so here we go. Um, typically what I start out with is, I have my piles over here. Um, I'm going to have my, this is my, just my tiny little jelly plate. Um, I just use that to spray some inks on. Um, but I have <clears throat> a bunch of these like vintage music note paper. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do colors of blue and brown and this mum color also. Um, and probably a little bit of amber. So I'm just kind of going to do a little bit of everything. So this is Ocean. And I'm just going to throw a couple drops on here. And then I spread it around. And then I just kind of blot right on there. And it's just kind of a mess. But that's kind of how I want it. I just kind of want it all over the place like that. Put that over there. This one is like just a couple drops. And I want this one to primarily be blue um, because I've done so, I feel like I've done a lot of red and pinks and purples lately. So this one I want to be more of a blue brown. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. And I think I like that so far. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> this is caramel. A little bit of this. You can use a brush if you don't want to use your fingers. I just, for me, it's easier. One more little bit down here. And then we'll see what this mum is about on here. And you don't have to cover everything. Um, you can have some empty spots. You can overlap like that one just did. Uh, do a little more of that. 
that. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of this um, wild honey. That one you have to spray. But I always like how it looks on here. So I think that I feel good about that. You guys can see that. Um, okay, so next I am going to what am I going to do? I'm going to rip some of these. Actually, I used to rip, but I just found these great scissors um, that kind of look like rips. I have a whole box of all different ones, but this is the one that I'm going to use. It looks like it's ripped. And these are just old jelly prints, and I'm going to, I just felt like these would be good to use on here. So I'm just going to cut these up a little bit. Just cut up some strips. I used to rip them, but that actually looks kind of ripped like that. So I like that. And then this is an old one that I really liked. just kind of break these up a little bit. I might not use all of these, but I'm just going to see. And then this one, just because it had a little bit different colors in it. actually kind of ripped which is fine all right so let's see how I want these um, I think I'm going to also do my edges a little bit I'm going to just take some of this and I'm just going to run it across a little bit just so I get a little bit of the dark, you can see there. Even though my light seems to be going away. Just to darken them up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's, you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm just going to figure out where I want to place these and how I want to place these. They don't have to be perfect in places. I think I don't know if I want that one. Do I? Hmm. Okay, I'll do it like that. Um, and then I've been using <clears throat> this two-sided tape, which is so helpful because it works better than a glue stick. It's not as messy as a glue stick. Everything that I use, I think you guys know, I have on my Amazon store, which will be in the description. Let 
we'll put that a little there. And I think I'm gonna put that like that. But those stick really well, see? Okay, so there's that. And then um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stencil and I'm gonna spray a little bit of gold just kind of randomly. Um, this is a cute little, with the little squares right here, you can see that I've already sprayed gold through there. Um, this is actually my, my product, my gold. And I'm just going to do a little bit of there. And if you get that overspray, that's okay too. And there. And I think that's good. Let that dry. I'm not going to do too much of that. Something else that you can do that's kind of cool is um, if you take a stencil, I need to let that dry real quick. But if you take a stencil and let's say I'll take my white pen here and just in this little corner like maybe and then just take a white pen or a gold or whatever and then just kind of outline the inside little pieces. It kind of looks cool. Just do that. Oops. See? Just kind of outline the stencil. And you can do that, you know, wherever you want. I like to do... Just little, like maybe dots, um, little swirlies. Do that with black and gold and white. Wherever you want, just do little, just make little designs. It, a lot of it's going to get covered up and it's going to get cut, but you'll see little pieces of it um throughout so it's kind of it's kind of neat that's even if it makes it the cut <laughs> literally makes the cut and you're gonna see what I mean by that when we get there but yeah just two little dots and I think my light is dying I'm sorry guys um, but here you can see how it looks. My white. Yeah, it's not. When we move over to the other side, you'll be able to see. But this is kind of how it looks for now. And then I'm going to throw some stickers on here that I had sitting out. So I'm going to do some butterflies because butterflies seem to be really popular. So I have these two butterflies. I'll place those on here. Actually, first I'm going to do... I'm going to throw a couple stamps on here. Um, these like long. This is the set that I have. Super cute. And I'm going to do this one if it comes out. There it goes. This one. Just a couple of them just to have them on there. Again, it just adds some interest when you cut this up. Because you'll, when you look at these pieces, you're just kind of seeing just so many different layers of things, and it's, it's kind of cool. All right, so let's put these butterflies on here. I'm going to put one, actually, yeah, it's there now. Um, put one there. I'll put one there. And then I wanted to throw on some um, flowers. Let's see what flowers we can put on there. Ooh. 
Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this big red, the uh, big like daisy. Put this on here. Put this right there. And then I just want a small one. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's too close to that color. Picky. Uh, this is cute. They're a little tricky to get off, but not too bad. Okay. So we'll throw that right there. So this is what it looks like. If you do clay, then this would be your veneer. And now we're going to go over that way to my other part of my studio and I'll show you what's next. Sorry, one more thing that I wanted to show you. So, um, something else that's fun to do is just put a little bit of white acrylic, just literally just a dab of white acrylic, um, anywhere actually, and some water. And get a paintbrush and mix that all up so it's liquidy. And then we're going to splatter this. And you can do this with any color. If you wanted to do it with gold, if you didn't feel like you didn't have enough before, <laughs> um, then, you know, use gold, or if you wanted to maybe do some red or black even, then whatever color you want. I'm doing it with white. There we go. So that is what it looks like. I'm going to have better light when I move over there, so you'll really get to see it. Be right back. Okay, so now we're on this side, and you should be able to see better because this light is better. This is what the, the veneer looks like that we're going to be working with. So you can see there's just layers and layers of stuff in here. So the fun part here is there's two things that you can do now. Um, you can take some packing tape and you can cover this whole thing so that everything just stays in place and everything is nice. Or what I have been doing recently is I invested, which wasn't even a big investment, in a, um, a laminating machine. And I love this thing. It is on my store. It's only $23. Um, and I use it for everything, not just art stuff, but um, I use it I use it for everything. <laughs> um, my car insurance cards come in, and I don't like them to get all, you know, yucky in my glove compartment. So I laminate them, and I literally laminate everything. So anyway, this is laminating sheet. And this way also it'll be protected protected two-sided that white was not quite dry but that's okay I'm not gonna worry about it so I'm gonna stick this in here and that actually just adds more as far as I'm concerned and then you're gonna want to put it in that closed end you that's the way that you want to feed this so feed that on in there It comes out the other side all nice. And together and fabulous. Now the top of this has a, um, a paper cutter. Um, and I could use that, but I'm going to get this bulky thing off of here. It does work well. Um, but I'm not going to use that. I had, I do have another one that I'm going to use just for the sake of this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all of these plastic, just the plain plastic edges. So I can take a look and see exactly what I have going on here. I'm 
I'm going on this side because that top is a little curled up, so I don't think it would stay very well for me. So there we go. All right, so even the top I'm gonna do. So this is what we have. This is how this looks. It's laminated on both sides. I forgot to tell you that if you want to, you can put a plain, um, just a plain index card or something on the back before you laminate. If you want just a clean background, you can paint on the background, you can do whatever you want. I usually like how this looks on the back, so I leave this. That's why that, I left that like that. But I forgot to tell you, so I'm sorry. Um, so, but anyway, this is how this looks. Now, if you wanna do it kind of how, like you would with clay, say you have a bezel or something like that, and you wanna fill it, and you're like, oh, I really like how this looks, you know, right here. So you could go on here, trace it out, cut it out, perfect. Cut out your little pieces that you want, awesome. You can do it that way. This is how I do mine. It's kind of a look of the draw. I am going to do about half inch to three quarter of an inch strips all the way across. So I'm just gonna put this in and do strips. You can make them wider, you can make them less wide, whatever you'd like. But I'm just going to do this with mine. And you can probably tell by all the earrings that I've been showing that this is the basic shape. Um, but like I said, you can obviously do anything you would like as far as your shapes and sizes and everything else because you're the artist. Okay, so I have all my strips. And then I just kind of go through and I look to see what looks cool. <laughs> um, so I have all these. Um, and then I have my little corner cutter. On my, um, on my Amazon store, I have all these. This came as a set, these three. And they're all different corner shapes, if you can see those. All different shapes. Um, so if you can check that out. If not, this came with the paper slicer that I just used. So you can check that out also. So I'm kind of digging the flowers right here. So I think I'm gonna cut those out just a little above and a little below. Those will be some really long but they have the musical notes. They have like a lot of everything in them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then just measure it up with the other one and cut them up. These will be big. I think I'm gonna make them a little more narrow though. Although they're super cute. Just make sure that they're all even and the same. They look good. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take this. I like to round off my edges. I just think it looks cuter. If you want your edges not rounded, then by all means, don't round them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make several more, but for the purpose of the video, oops. Wow, that one took off. And for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna do these and they're gonna be super cute. I'm gonna show you how I resin them. And we'll do that now. So I have these. Someone asked how I get it to not curl up. Um, I have these strong grip mats that I use when I resin um, and I just I do the back first so place them on here 
Make sure that they're really stuck on there. Stuck, 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 okay? So that they don't curl up. That's my trick. And this is the resin that I use. All of this is on my Amazon store, like I said. So if you buy this, I'll get about negative two cents commission. <laughs> They don't really pay you much, but it's nice to have everything in one spot for you guys. So, um, so once they're pressed down and all good and everything, just do a swipe of resin. Since I have two here, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe both of them. And you are going to want to... Push this out to the edges. Make sure you don't go off the edge. With the lamination and everything, it's thick enough so that you can, there's a definite delineation to where the edge is. So it's not like it sinks into this sticky pad. Um, it'll, it'll stay on your piece without going over, which is nice because I've done that. And it is a mess. You can still clean it up if it does go off, but I'd rather it didn't. And I'm hoping that I have it all the way to my edges. Because as you know, I don't have my light. Okay, so I think that's good. I hope you guys saw that and I wasn't out of frame because that happens too. So I'm just going to take a lighter real quick, get the air bubbles out if there are any. And then I'm going to pop this under my UV light for about two minutes. And I'll be back when they're out. Okay, so the, that side is done. And then I'm just going to flip it over. See, they didn't curl up or anything. I'm going to flip it over. And do the same to the front and then while we were waiting I cut out a couple more because I found some really cute ones so I'm gonna make those and I'm gonna make those so you'll see the pictures of those um, along with this so just do the same thing make sure it's stuck down on there and then put make sure you have enough if you don't, it's better to start out with too little than too much. I've done this for a while, so I pretty much know the amount that's needed for each thing. But um, if you're if you're kind of new to doing resin, then just kind of go easy. Like don't put as much your first go round, um, and that because you could always add. It's you can add, but you can't take away. I mean, you could take away, but it's not an easy process to take away. It's easier to add. So just push everything out to the edge. I think that looks good. Okay, so I'll go pop these in for two minutes, and I will be back. Okay, I figured that while those are in there, I'll show you guys how to use the um, <clears throat> the wire um, the wire the wire bending tool. <laughs> I don't know what the heck to call it. Um, so let me put you on hold again I'll be right back okay sorry about that I'm back so I use 20 gauge um, wire and I'm gonna cut that off there and what you do is you feed it through there's a little hole right there so you feed it through you're not gonna feed it all the way through but you can see it does a little ratcheting kind of thing and we'll come around like that. 
That one didn't go all the way around, but that's okay because I can fix it. These are going to be for those butterfly or the flower earrings. I found these cute little pink, and I think that'll match pretty well. So I'm going to feed that in a little daisy spacer and another one of those. So it looks like that. Okay, and then I'm going to feed the other side through. Make sure that it's pushed right up against there, like that. Like that. And then you're going to slowly just pinch it around. And then you might have to close it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Which I don't understand why sometimes it works really well and sometimes not so much. So that little open part there, I'm just going to take my needle nose and just like that and there we go so that's going to be a charm for the top of the one so just do that again real quick gonna loop that around like that we put these on Feed that through again. Squeeze those. And it automatically cuts that off, which is awesome. And I gotta fix that one as well. And then I have that so that one is pointing one way and one is pointing the other way because that's how, um, the jewelry is going to be so I'll show you how to make the ear wires that I make also because somebody had asked about that as well so I just take these pliers and I go about halfway down so that the tip is of that wire is right in there and go all the way around until you meet right there and then you're going to bend it back the other way like so and then I just use a paintbrush <coughs> tip towards the end about how you know how big a, an ear wire would be and then just bend that around like so and then snip off the end and make your little crimp and voila and then I'm going to put this on here open that up a little bit put that on here sorry I was out of the camera but I just opened that up a little bit slide that on and then close that back up so that's how that looks and then I'll hang the the piece on it afterwards so let me get the piece and I'll be right back okay so here they are they came out really really nice I'm gonna have them like that actually I'm gonna have them like <laughs> that as earrings so I'm gonna drill my holes up here with my handy dandy tool and just right in the center up towards the top not too close to the top but you know right at the top there just make my hole I don't know why I guess I should have done that a lot earlier my thing was way back there and I do apologize for that I hope that this stuff was all on the camera. Okay, so I have my holes up top there. Up top there. <laughs> up top there. And I'm just going to get a jump ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. And hopefully you guys all know to open jump rings like that. You do not pull them apart like that. So I'll put my jump ring in. And then I'll put my little charm and ear wire that I just made in. Close that up. There you go. That's it. 
I hope you guys, oh, there's a little piece right here. A little piece of resin right here that I'm just gonna shave off. I, I have two of these um, so that I don't have to switch out the, the bits on them. I have a tiny, tiny little bit for the hole and then the bigger one for the sander, so that's why I have two of those. Um, so there you go, that's how to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, join the Happy Place Facebook group, please. Um, if you're not already, especially like my jelly printing people and my alcohol ink people, um, that way I can speak to you more freely about how to find things and everything else because on those other groups I have to private message everyone and it gets confusing. So join the group. We have a lot of fun. I like you guys to show off your stuff. And also... I really hope that I was in frame for all that stuff and that you could see everything. <laughs> um, and hit that thanks button, guys. I hope you had fun, and you'll see me soon. Bye.